What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima for those of you guys that are new. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this video. Honestly, I am not the biggest fan of YouTube intros. They honestly give me low key a little bit of anxiety. So I'm not doing that no more. I'm done with that. We're moving past it. It's 2020. I mean, uh, that's not the best year to reference. The only thing you guys need to know that's missing from the intro is that my name is Nima Tang. I love beauty and we are here to play with makeup. That's it. Let's go. We're gonna go ahead and jump straight in. I'm gonna be trying out new products, having a lot of fun with new makeup and talking about this entire year in LA so far. My lease is up, I mean I renewed my lease, but my lease is up and I was shook that it had already been a year here. But I am priming first with the Armani Luminous Silk Primer. This has been one of my favorite primers recently. I've been using it quite a lot. It's just a nice hydrating primer. This is what she looks like right there. For my T-zones, I'm gonna pop in just a little bit of the Omaliwa High Definition Foundation Primer. This is a black owned business. I have actually been loving their powders. HD Queen um, Finishing Powder, so nice. They sent me a bunch of extra stuff that I didn't buy. I thought I was being real sneaky, but I wasn't, I guess. I wasn't sneaky enough. They sent me a bunch of different pro extra products and the primer was one of them so so this is actually what I bought from Omaliwa and I've been using this powder for ooh, I don't know I've been using it on camera but I haven't really like talked about it much this is a HD Queen finishing powder it is so nice and look how deep and rich that powder is right there and this is one of if not the only powder that I can use with the powder on the foundation trick because it literally just melts into my skin for foundation, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal C12 foundation. This is one of my favorites from the drugstore. And this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It melts into my skin. I don't have to try and match it to my chest. It matches my face perfectly. So I'm gonna go and take that down to the neck. Next, we're going to concealer. I'm gonna use another drugstore product. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Truffle. I'm just gonna pop that right in here. Neutral than I'd like. Last month, we got a notification from our, I guess the renters, what do you call them? Property managers, I don't know. They're like, hey, your lease is finally up. Um, let us know if you guys wanna stay or like move out. Ever since we made the move here official and like let go of our apartment in Dallas, I really was hoping that we could keep both of them and like make, make it work, but it just wasn't making sense. We weren't flying back enough and yeah. So I was just like, let's just give it a try here and see how that goes. We'll figure out if we wanna go back. I didn't have a true like connection to Texas. I was kinda like, eh. It is what it is, you know, Texas is cool, Dallas is cool, I love it here. This is all I know, not even I love it here, this is all I know, this is home. I didn't feel like I had like a true like connection with like being in Dallas until I left. And then I was like, okay, so Dallas was home home, like that's where I felt like safe and that's where, you know, all that stuff that comes with like feeling like you're home, all those like good feelings and like nice like safe feelings of being home. I think the biggest thing that was hard for me to do was the difference in space. Mm, don't let people lie to you. <laughs> I mean, people are, I feel like people already know. I just contoured, by the way, with the Fenty Beauty matchstick in caviar. People will be like, oh, LA's not that expensive. It's expensive, it's expensive. She's pricey. Okay, she's very pricey. I didn't give myself enough time, really, when I was coming out here to look for places. I knew that I was moving out here, but I didn't think it would be like a permanent option. So I thought I'd have my place back home in Dallas and it'd be like, you know. Okay, here's the thing. My apartment in Dallas was on my goals list. So it was like something obviously that I really, really cared about and really wanted to achieve. So when I got it, girl, your girl was so happy. I was so proud of myself because it was just like exactly where I wanted to be. It had everything that I wanted. When we ended up giving it up and moving here permanently, because let's be realistic, I wanted to see what LA had to offer, you know? Everyone talks about moving out here for whatever reasons they have. I was like, I'm young enough to see what this place has to offer. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. Me and Anthony have the flexibility to do what we want right now. We're young, let's give it a try. So a few months in, we realized that it just wasn't making sense to keep both places. So we gave up our apartment in Texas. My dream apartment, y'all. My dream apartment. Like, it was beautiful, like beautiful. It was on the 18th floor. Let me not give away too many details because honestly, low-key, high-key, I'm thinking about going back. <laughs> floor to ceiling windows, all the amenities I could ever want, huge floor plan. It was just literally my dream apartment. We left it and we came here and we lost about 
a thousand square feet or square foot whatever the freak that term is we lost that okay my soul was not happy like I'm like one of those people I need my space I need my freedom to roam and I also need like space to myself at times I hate feeling um, crammed into a place like I grew up with six sisters so I know that feeling of being in a confined space and being feeling like I am suffocated I knew what I wanted for myself so when I found it and then to end up having to give it up for here and then we hit a pandemic. Oh, y'all. At the beginning of this pandemic, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was handling it well. I really did. I thought I was doing well. Recently, I was like, I'm not I'm not doing well. <laughs> I'm not handling, I'm not handling this pandemic well at all. I thought it was gonna be okay because usually I'm like somewhat of a homebody. I'm usually like okay with being home. Choosing to be home versus being forced to be home are two completely different things. Mm-hmm, very completely different things. I was like, I'm not as much of a homebody as I thought because this is taking a toll on me. It's a pandemic, there's bigger things to worry about, but you know, so talking and chatting right now about makeup, I'm just gonna do a little bit of venting. This blended out so nicely. Yes. Going with this Pat McGrath concealer in the shade D29. This concealer is just gonna pop up the brightness a little bit and then also keeping the under eyes from creasing. I'm gonna set my face with the Huda Beauty Cinnamon Bun Setting Powder. This is a very lightweight powder. It gives you a nice smooth set. Mm. Y'all, I can do a base routine any day. All day, every day, actually. That's me. I'm not gonna make any generalizations about LA and like anything like that because honestly, I feel like, number one, I've been here during a pandemic. <laughs> How am I gonna judge a place when half the time I've been stuck inside? <laughs> That's the only reason I feel like I can't really like fully judge it. Before my lease was even up, I wanted to leave because I felt like I could get a little bit more space, like I guess outside of the city, which is something that I should have thought about before, you know, signing my lease. I have two big dogs. You guys know Zoe and Bo, our babies. I feel like if I didn't know what more space felt like, it'd be easier to kind of like adjust to or be content with the space that I have now. But since I know what bigger, more space feels like, I'm just, I'm always like constantly thinking about it, constantly yearning for it. I'm like, man, I could have had this. <laughs> we ended up just staying, deciding to stay here for another six months because it just didn't make any sense to move during a pandemic. That just sounds like hell. That's, I'm gonna just put it in plain terms. Sounds like hell. Moving already in general is annoying as hell, but moving up during a pandemic is not something I want to experience. I think I'm good on that. My anxiety is already enough. It's already doing a lot right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna test her. So we're staying here for another six months. But then after that, I just don't know what we're gonna do after that. Like, are we going to stay in LA or are we gonna go back to Texas? A part of me wants to stay in LA after the pandemic because I'm like, okay, I came here to try and see like what the city has to offer, you know, but I haven't really got to experience like fully what the city does have to offer because you know, we've been in shutdown quarantine mode. I guess I got another six months to figure it out. I'm going to set my contour with this bronzer from Makeup Revolution. This bronzer here from Makeup Revolution. A little bit of a darker palette just to like really intensify that crease and my on my cheekbones, this shade right here from Ben Nye Powder. I'm gonna go in with my second to last powder. This is the Becca Bronzer Multitasking Perfecting Powder in the shade Deep Bronze. I'm gonna use this to, you see how like it kind of looks like um, it's unblended here, right here. It's just like, it looks a little bit too low. So I'm gonna use this powder here and work that up. And that's gonna get rid of that weird darkness right there around my cheek and take that up here too last powder is my Dior forever and ever shine control powder and this is a powder that I just put everywhere that's just gonna lock everything in place and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face down with some uh, setting spray from Estee Lauder this is their set and refresh Okay, so after I sprayed my face down, I just went ahead and did my brows off camera. Every single time I say I did my brows off camera, I always get asked, what's the brow routine? Brow routine is the same as it's been in my most recent brow video, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and 
do these eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collab. I've actually played with this palette before, but I haven't done it on camera yet. I'll go ahead and insert a look here with this palette. I like this palette a lot. Today we're gonna be doing another colorful look. I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna do the red. Instead of the white that I did last time, I'm gonna go in with this dandelion shade. This palette has two sides like that. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. I'm trying the shake primer. It's supposed to be an eyeshadow primer from KVD Vegan Beauté. Since I'm using this product or trying it out, I kind of want to hear you guys' thoughts on KVD. I have thoughts about it. I do think there should have been like, maybe not kept the name, <laughs> but I do understand like with branding and whatever wise. Apparently she has been fully removed from the brand and there's like no royalties or anything going to her. So I wanna know you guys' thoughts on what you guys think about KVD, Vegan Beauty. Is it something to go back to? I know a lot of people had cult products from the brand that they really liked. Are you guys going back? Are you guys considering them? Um, I really just wanna hear you guys' thoughts on that. Since she is gone, is it now worth going back? So let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about that. Let's do this. Oh my god. I've had this look in my head for like three days now and I just haven't gotten a chance to film it so I'm like really excited to film it right now. So I'm going into Flavor Town, which is this bright red color right here. Going into that shade first. I think I'm gonna stamp that across my crease area. Focus most of the color right here. Okay, color. Okay, pigment. That looks really good. I'm gonna go and do the other eye. And right now I'm just focusing on packing the color. Just packing that color one. Just following my natural eye shape. On the tail end, I'm going underneath the brow bone right there. And then going back up into the hollow right here in the front. I'm gonna blend out that red with this brown shade and use that as a transition so it's not so harsh right here. This is in shade You're Not My Real Dad. And then I'm going into the shade Told You. I'm bringing it right in there. I wanna go into the shade Dandelion, which is this shade right here, bright yellow. And I'm gonna actually pop that onto my lid and pack that on there. I'm gonna pack it right on my lid. I might have to put some concealer down, which is not a problem. So I'm using my Pat McGrath concealer right there. Set some concealer down. And now let's try and go in with Dandelion. Hmm. Still not doing what I thought it was gonna do. I really thought it was gonna pop more. It's starting to come together slowly. I just gotta keep packing, I guess. Keep building up. What color is this yellow? Oh, that's the yellow I should have been using. Okay. Wrong yellow. Going into Camelot. That's popping a lot better on my skin tone. So let's try that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, doing the trick. That's doing exactly what I wanted. I am getting a little bit of fallout. I'm just gonna make sure I protect my face. Taking that concealer again. We got that yellow, it's popping, okay, cute. Now we're gonna go into this shade called Am I Orange? And I'm gonna pop that in between the red and the yellow right here. I had that song stuck in my head. Not the bang eye, the bang eye. Oh no, no, no. Y'all, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, whatever the hell it is. I'm gonna take this liner, it's from Makeup Revolution, it's in their Artist Color Pencil in the shade Cool Red. And I'm just using this because I find that colors don't really pop on my bottom lash line because I don't really put primer there, so I'm gonna use the pencil to just kind of help out the eyeshadow a little bit here. So now, before I go in with my eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Infinite Sands color pencil and I'm gonna put that right in my waterline. This one's from Makeup Forever as well. The red, again, called Flavor Town. And now I can start packing that color down here and that'll help it pop. It'll have something to stick to. I'll blow out everything with Am I Orange? So for liner, I'm gonna use the new One Size Beauty Point Made Bodacious Black Eyeliner. I'm gonna do like a little cat eye with that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara. This is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I think it's the new mascara. It's actually really nice. Honestly, I don't even look for mascara for my top lashes. I just put it on to give to give my falsies something to rest on. Or just baby lashes. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> They're just there on the top. But the bottom is where mascara really shines for me. And that's when I can really tell the difference. That eyeliner is pretty good. Like, it's real dark. Okay. For blush, I've got these Eloise liquid blush this is a cherry orange but this pink with this eye might be the move i think these the pink with the eye is the move this is called hot pink i also got these from eloise as well they're called the get glowed illuminating drops i was gonna use them underneath my foundation but i forgot today it's like a wand that's pink i normally don't like to go directly into my face so i'm not even gonna try and do that i'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then put it on a brush and then go in with Hmm, I feel like for a no makeup day, like a light makeup day, this might be the move. It's giving a nice glow, but it's not really like taking off my makeup or anything, which is nice, but I feel like for this look, I need I need a little bit more pack, a little bit more punch. I'm gonna go into this mented blush called Buried Away. And I forgot to tell you guys that Eloise, the Eloise Beauty that I just showed you guys right now is black owned, so if you haven't checked them out yet, I mean, these two together might be a move. I mean, she's real blushy. She's real blushy today. Okay, she's blushing, y'all. She's flirting hard over here. Okay, that looks really good. I'm gonna use this like pinky silvery highlight from Eloise. It's called Ice Queen. Oh, child, I'm scared. That might that might just need to be a topper. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Dior and then I'm gonna top off the highlighter with the Get Glowed. Beautiful highlight, but it's very subtle. Take the nose. So now we're gonna go in with the Eloise highlighter, just a little bit, gently. Bump that highlighter. Oh, oh, whoa. I love an icy highlight. A little bit of translucent powder. We're just gonna take that everywhere we put that blush because I said it was a little too much earlier. And line my lips. I'm gonna go into this lipstick from Proper Beauty. It's called Fighter. This is another black owned brand and I bought like four of their lipsticks. That looks so good. So one of my favorite gloss glosses to pop in the center of the lips is this Milani in the shade Bare Pink. Ooh, I promise you guys color in the next video and <laughs> here she is, here's the color. This is the color we've all been waiting for. Hourglass, it's their Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I've been trying to use new setting powders and testing them out so far. Estee is a really good one for like when you're trying to get rid of that powderiness and um, also stay like this. This is me after using the Estee Lauder setting sprays and then I'm gonna try and use this one just to kinda add a little bit more glow back to my face as well. She might be a little too glowy. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, 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 uh. okay, that's good to know. This is like almost borderline oil, so I don't know. Uh-uh, this is like, focus setting spray this kind of reminds me of like the Tatcha anyways I'm just gonna take my sponge and run that through so next time instead of spraying directly to my face I'm gonna spray on the sponge I've been giving you guys a wide shot in a hot minute but this hair it needed it it deserved it look at this I feel like someone's fair faucet Every single time I switch up my wigs or change my hair, I always tag it in my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, that's where all of them are. Most of my hair, if not all of my hair right now, comes from black-owned hair suppliers, black-owned retailers. So she sent it to me like this. All I had to do is just touch up the bangs because she's from Texas. I'm still working with my girl from Texas. So that's pretty much it for our video today, you guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, give me a thumbs up. If you're struggling through this pandemic, know you're not alone because your girl's going through it too. I'm going through it too. All I'm trying to do right now is just stay positive and hope for the best and hope everyone is staying safe and washing their hands. Make sure you're wearing your masks. Please. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I will see you guys next time.